What's up guys? Got another late night wrap up vid for you today. Got a cat in my lap. Uh, I did have some other content planned for today, um, but for a reason that will be revealed tomorrow, uh, I decided to delay that content until tomorrow. Um, tomorrow it definitely should be back to, I guess, what you would consider the normal vlog. Some stuff in the car, some stuff around the house, a cool little segment. Anyways, uh, what I wanted to talk about today, though, uh, was well, one of my favorite topics, uh, and that's customer service. Uh, namely, horrible customer service. Um, and that's a little hyperbole. Um, I wouldn't actually consider either of these. Well, that's not true. Uh, I guess it depends on what part of the customer service experience you really feel fell apart on the second one. Um, but the first one, uh, as you guys know, my Wii U gamepad uh, wasn't working, um, so I did call it Nintendo today. Um, so, you know, they were like, try these steps, like, I already tried all this stuff, so like, okay, well, it seems like you tried everything, uh, and it's not working, so you're gonna have to send it in for repair. So, okay, cool. You know, they were like, how long have you had it? And I was like, I bought this the day the Wii U came out, <laughs> in 2013. Um, or maybe 2012, actually. Um... Anyways, so, you know, I was like, yeah, it's way out of its manufacturer's warranty. Totally understand, totally understand. The guy's like, it's going to be 100 bucks, and it's going to be $10 for shipping, which is just, like, fucking insult to injury. It's like, I feel like as, as long as your fucking gamepad wasn't, uh, like, physically damaged, you shouldn't have to fucking pay for shipping if it didn't, you know, if it wasn't your fault, but whatever. Uh, and he's like, so do you want to do that today? And I was like, well, you know, I want to kind of look around um, and see, you know, just kind of the used market and see kind of what's going on. And uh, he was like, well, um, you know, I'm sure you know, but, you know, the Wii U's are synced to their, or paired with the system. You can't buy a used one. And I was like, wait a second. <laughs> so if mine's broken, what are you going to do? And he's like, well, we'll replace it with a factory refurbished one. And I was like, so, What? <laughs> If you have factory refurbished ones and I don't have to send in my console, then clearly I can just use whatever fucking Wii U pad I, I want to. Um, and as far as I can tell online, that's what everyone seems to say. Uh, so I'm still going to look at some. There's some on eBay. They're like 80 or so. Um, not really something that I can afford right now. Uh, so I'll just kind of have to work around it. Um, but... Yeah, I'm going to take a look at some of that. Maybe I'll call Nintendo back, try to haggle them down a little bit on that price. See what I can do. Um, the second bit of customer service stuff that I want to talk about is Atlanta United. Um, because that total fucking travesty is still happening. Uh, so, as I told you guys earlier, um, you know, I got my season tickets. I have three season tickets. And when I got my box, there was only one ticket in there. And so... I was like, hey, I didn't get my other two tickets. Um, they're like, no, no, no worries, worries, we'll reprint them and send them to you. So I was like, okay. And then when I got them, they look like they're fucking knockoffs. And so I emailed the ticket person back and was like, hey, these look, basically these look like ugly as shit and I didn't pay all this money to have some ugly ass fucking season tickets. And so, apparently, after uh, several days of back and forth, uh, there's no way, no way to get these uh, tickets back um, to uh, the, the tickets that I want um, because uh, there's a special ink that they use at the warehouse that they don't have anymore to print the normal tickets. And when all those tickets have been printed, they send them all of these blank tickets so that they can do whatever they want to and I have no problem believing that that's true because it'd be a very elaborate lie for this customer service person to invent just to tell me to fuck off but holy shit is that fucking stupid all right so I'm going to show you guys I'm going to cover up any information so yeah here is the ticket that I have right it's very nice, it's very detailed, has my seat number and everything on it, has everything, and you guys can't really see that, but uh, like it's like a black and white photo on the background. Uh, I don't know what part of this is important, so I'm gonna 
cover this up too. This is the replacement ticket I got. Uh, and underneath my finger, again, I don't know if that's important or not, is a giant fucking barcode, um, as well as really tell very well, because this lighting in here is shit. Uh, but the entire thing looks completely faded. Uh, the ticket itself feels worse than the other ticket. Uh, and it's this ugly, like, red tone, like they fucking ran out of ink when they were printing these extra copies. Uh, so now I have two ugly ass tickets and one very nice ticket and apparently I'm just fucking shit out of luck uh, because someone at their warehouse can't count to fucking three and pack the right tickets for me um, and like I was kind of pissed because like the representative's like human error occurs it's like yeah but it's not mine it's like you guys are the fucking business and you have sent me something that's fucking shitty to replace something that I didn't do anything about, that I didn't lose, nothing happened, that you didn't send me in the first place. Um, it would be like, you know, it'd be like if uh, you bought a computer and all of the fucking keys on the keyboard were like, it wasn't chiclic, it was just like the little nodes. Um, and you were like, hey, what the fuck? Like, None of my keys are on this, like, it's just, like, these little nodes, I don't know what to fucking type, and they, so you send it, so they're like, okay, cool, we'll, we'll send you another one, and then they sent it, and it was just sheets of paper with the letters printed out, taped to the fucking nodes on the keyboard, and they were like, sorry, we ran out of keys, you know, human error happened, sorry, we couldn't put the keys on there, but, you know, there you go, there's your, there's your keyboard, it works, you know, uh, never mind the fact that you paid, you know, $1,200 for this fucking laptop, um, it's just, it's fucking mind-boggling to me that there's no way for them to rectify this, and they just have these garish fucking season tickets instead. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of my, my rant. Um, she sent me another email today about sending me something complimentary to, uh, as a peace offering, I guess, as, um, you know, because, she, you know, because of my inconvenience. Um, so I'm going to respond to her tomorrow. I was just so fucking irate um, because I asked her to escalate it uh, on Wednesday like to someone above her, and then she didn't respond to me for almost 24 hours and was like completely ignored the fact that I asked to escalate it. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't think there's any way for me to get these, and it really sucks because I fucking, you know, I have all my AWA tickets, I have all my Momocon tickets, I have all of my PAX tickets, I keep these things, you know, um, as keepsakes, and, you know, these are just fucking ruined, uh, through no fault of my own, so that sucks dick, um, but that's enough of me sitting on this fucking couch bitching, uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.